That pesky traitor vermin's finally dead, huh? Naruto. Naruto, if you keep resisting... Nothing but awesome to me! Can't move! You guys all right? Rin? Kakashi? I don't... I don't think I'm gonna make it. I'm... Giving you my shotting gun. Please accept this. <laughs> Again, you. This time, let's spend some alone time together. Obito, what did you do? But why? Why save someone useless like me? <laughs> this is embarrassing. I mean, messing up in front of you the way that I did. Reem, huh? do you mind waiting just a little longer? Obito? I just finally got alone time with you, and it'll be wasted if he comes here right away. You can go? Just like that? That's right. I'll be waiting here. Sorry, Reem. I promise I'll be right back. Before I move on to the next world, I thought I'd emphasize to you not to come running after me so quickly. You... Then again, it's not like I'll be springing back to life anymore. I know you haven't taken office yet, but I'm giving you your gift now. The name Kakashi of the Sharingan. Hmm! Yes. Here we go! There's no way they can come out of that unscathed. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Maybe a rabbit. Look, it doesn't matter, but now we can get near it. But he shouldn't even have the Sharingan anymore. You watch along with me. Because this time, I will protect them. Kamui Shuriken! This power... Is it Obito's Sharingan? But why does Kakashi Sensei have it? The tail beasts are now stable. Plus, Mother's even produced a Truth Seeker orb. <laughs> that thing is... it's just like the spheres that are behind me. If that thing gets too large, we won't be able to return to this place. This is going to be our very last mission as Squad 7. I am immortal. And if either of you were to die, you cannot seal me away. Get us in closer, then we can strike. Right! So fast! It really is a nifty ability, Obito, to be able to pass through things. Kamui Lightning Blade! Not good. Forget about me. We're both women, so don't you mock me! <laughs> I gotcha! You fell for it! So Naruto's the perp. Six pounds! Planetary devastation. devastation! Now all that's left is to bring you all back.
Where's Naruto? I'll just start over and work on Mother's next resurrection. <laughs> you, you're just a piece of the shinobi history I created and nothing more. <laughs> it's time for you to get over yourself. Ceiling complete. And now it's happily ever after the end. Ah! Wait a sec, what about us? How are we supposed to get out of this time space? Summoning Jutsu. Welcome back home, Naruto. Dead you. Via a summoning done by all the prior five Kage together. Naruto, Sasuke, and the rest of you too. Wait, are you by any chance the legendary... I am Hagoromo Otsutsuki. Like everything went really well. True, but it also seems like the shinobi world went to hell while... So it was you, after all, summoning the past five Kage here. Good job guiding everyone and making sure my mother was sealed away. There was a former friend who lent me a lot of strength when I needed it. Or else you likely wouldn't have succeeded in stopping my mother. I sure did miss you! Quit yelling so loudly! I wasn't lonely! That there would one day be a shinobi who could move even the tailed beasts to cooperate. That I shall be sure to ask Obito to tell me that tale in the afterworld. I ought to go soon. So much so that I don't even know what to say to you in parting. The one who was always late because of helping others. That's plenty enough, at least for me. Don't worry, I already told her. I'd be helping you. Likewise. Kakashi-sensei, your eyes! Yeah. Madara was a Jinchuriki, even if temporarily. Now, emptied of the tailed beasts. Is that you, Ashirama? Yes. Our job is merely to do all that we can do while we're alive. And you have always been the optimist. The dream that I had has been squashed. It was far more important to cultivate those who would come after us, to whom we could entrust our dreams. But the both of us are about to die. So right now... Okay. I'll release the Jutsu, freeing the five Kage and the reanimated Shinobi. Dad, I... Oh, that's right. There's something that I've been meaning to tell you. You've really become a splendid young man. You know that? We are in existence outside of the rules. So we can't just remain in this world forever. I promise you that I'll tell Kushina everything. Tell her not to worry. I'm eating properly. Lots of different stuff. I'm not picky. Uh, I bathe almost every day, even going to the Leaf Hot Springs once in a while. I had more confidence than anyone else. And of course, I, I always obeyed Lord Third. He was hopeless when it came to them, though. But he was an awesome Sanin, and I respect him the most. I do. I've got dreams, too. I'm going to be an even greater Hokage than you, Dad. I swear I will. But she doesn't have to worry about me even a bit! <laughs> Let's leave the rest of it to the next generation. You too will probably find a different conclusion than we did. Eight tails. And what will you do? I think I'm gonna go back to being partners with B. Even that annoying rapping that he does. A little piece of each of your chakra is already inside.